for a sold out crowd in San Diego? I mean, at first I was bummed out that my fight, you know, fell through at the time, but once I realized that I was going to be fighting in San Diego, which is also my home state, uh, I'm really stoked about that because I get to be closer to all of my Latino people. So that's going to give me a lot of motivation to hear all their, you know, all the noise and all their energy. When Nina was in here, she said it was important for her to rebook this fight because she said it was just fair to you after she pulled out after the Wayans. Was it important to make this fight again or were you just, did you just want to get back in there regardless of who it was? You know, uh, I think it was the same thing for her. I think, you know, we were both got ready for the fight, and I have respect, a lot of respect for her, too. And I think just given the situation where she just kind of got sick just on the, the, you know, the night before the fight. So I feel it was only fair for, for us to just get rebooked, and, and I was okay with that. And a lot of people are going to bring up your last few performances, same as her, but you guys have essentially fought like the top five of two divisions. So what do you make of her as an opponent and the skills that she brings in on Saturday? I mean, she's she's obviously she's a very tough opponent. She's been fighting the top ten just how I have, you know. And so people do look at that, the losses and stuff like that. But we've been fighting the best for, you know. I I think I got into the UFC at three and zero. Um, with I was six months of a professional. Within being a professional of, uh, for a year, I was ranked number six in the world. So I've been fighting the best since you know since the, so everybody's seen my professional career event you know unravel on the biggest stage of the world. So it makes it kind of difficult, but uh, you know I think this is important for me. I think it's going to bring out the best of me. Um, we all show that all Mexican fighters, you know, we always rise to the occasion. No matter how many times we fall, we're always going to come back stronger. And I feel that way about Nina too. I think she she's she's got now the extra mom powers. We're having their daughter, and and I'm sure she's got a lot of motivation. You know having her her wife win the the championship just you know two weeks ago so um it's it, you know makes for a great fight and Nina's of course moving up from strawweight to flyweight a move you made in the past uh Dustin Poirier once said that it took him a while to feel like a lightweight when he moved up rather than just a featherweight that wasn't cutting weight so I'm curious how long did it take for you to feel like an actual flyweight in there and what are you expecting from Nina when she fights well I think we're not going to be very much different in size which is given um uh you know, I, th I, I think it's going to make it where we're not going to be super giant flyweights. I'm still not a, a huge flyweight. Um, I think the weight cuts are kind of pretty much a lot easier than they are at straw weight, but it's still a little bit of a cut. Um, my plans are still to eventually go down to straw weight. So um, I did get a little bit bigger to be at fly weight, but we're going to work down to get down at 115. Um, and, you know, I think I think this is going to be a great fight. I, I think it's going to be hard to tell whether I settled in as a flyweight or not in this one just because Nina is coming up as well. So I feel like, you know, just like you, her and I, it might take a little bit to actually settle in in the flyweight and, you know, build all the muscle and feel just as strong as the rest of them. I did want to ask about that, Cynthia, because you had announced on social media, like, hey, 115, but then even previously when this fight was booked, it was going to be at 125. So can I ask, like, just what, what made you change to say, hey, you know, like, I will take these at flyweight and I'm not going to maybe prioritize the move back to 115? Well, actually, I was originally uh, booked to fight Brianna Van Buren June 4th, and that one was going to be at 115. Uh, she pulled out, and then we were spent a couple of weeks looking for an opponent, and uh, Nina's name came up, and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to fight Nina. And I was like, oh, well, Nina wants to fight at 125, though. And I'm like, you know what, this is an exception. You know, I was planning to move down to 115, but with it, it being Nina, who was previously a 115-er, uh, I was like, you know, this, I'll, I'll do this. I'll, I'll fight with her at 125. And is plan still to start doing everything to make the move back down, or is it going to be like opponent-by-opponent opponent basis kind of deal? Uh, I think – I, what's going to happen is uh, we're, we're going to get through this fight first, and then we're going to go back to the PI and uh, you know run a, run the rerun the test and do a practice weight cut and make sure making sure that I'm going to be healthy enough to make the you know descent back to 115. But the plan is to get down to 115 before the end of the year. Now there's obviously a lot of Mexican talent on the card. You are Hispanic American. Um, do you feel a little bit of this momentum, not just with the fans, but also like, you know, get the UFC back to Mexico kind of deal? Because it feels like a lot of the fighters is like, hey, you know, just bringing the UFC back to their market could be a big deal, too, if they make an impact Saturday. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think we already make a big impact, uh, given why there's going to be UFC PI in Mexico. So, um I think uh, it, it also motivates me, obviously, being in California, being close to Mexico, you know, definitely I'm going to, you know, feel out of my heart, have my family there, which is going to make it more exciting. And, 
you know, I, I'm really stoked. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to represent all the Mexicans. Thank you. Anyone else? That's it. All right. Thank you.